In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply Google Fonts to your Axia project. So here I've prepared a file, doesn't look pretty, but it'll do the job. The headings are in Roboto Slab, you can see that over here, and the body text is Roboto. Okay, over here I've left it as Arial, leaving it alone like that. Now, I think it should be Roboto Condensed, in fact. Let's see if that's available. Well, interesting, not. Okay, fine, we'll just do Roboto, that's okay. Um, so now, how do we make sure this works on the web? If I were to preview it, it will work fine on my system because I have the font installed. It will not work for people um, who do not have the font installed though when you publish your website. So we need to use web fonts. Publish, generate HTML files, click on this cog, which is the settings to open it and go to fonts. We're going to add a font. This is the equivalent of putting that link tag in your HTML. It's telling Axio where to find it. Now the font label is the name of the font. Always, always, always use the same name that Google uses or even Adobe fonts if you're using them, but you've got to use exactly the same name they've got in the CSS. It's one of the common mistakes I see where people's web fonts don't work. Now we need, and it's hard to see because they do not follow accessibility rules, URL of CSS file in an incredibly light gray on top of an off-white. Don't do that on your website, please. Okay, so back to Google Fonts. Where do we find this URL? It's in the href here. So you don't copy the whole link tag, just the bit in the href telling them where to find the font. And that's the HTTPS bit. So I'm going to go Control C, or you can do Command C if you're on a Mac to copy. And I'll paste that in now. Now that's not gonna do anything given that, if you remember your HTML or if you've done that yet, um, you'll know that just the HTML tag, the link tag does not help apply it, it just finds it. We have to do font mappings to say how to apply it. So we add a mapping. And what we'll be doing here, Roboto Slab. So let's go and find Roboto Slab somewhere here. Here we go, Roboto Slab. And we're going to map that, and this is going to seem so redundant, we're gonna map that to Roboto Slab because what it's saying is find this in the system where it's on the screen. Change it online for this one and that will be fine. That's done. Okay, done. Now we want to do the body text because this just does the headings. So let's go in, add a font, and this time around, let's go and see what it is here. It's Roboto Condensed. No worries at all. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to go back here and we'll call it Roboto Condensed. The URL is exactly the same, of course, because that's the one we had earlier. No problem. Okay, font mappings again, adding a map. We're going to, in this case, yeah, I don't know if I've installed the wrong font, but it's just called Roboto here. So that's another reason why it's really important just to check you've got the right names. Here, it's definitely Roboto Condensed. I would actually recommend, in fact, let me practice what I preach. I'm going to copy it from here rather than just type it because if you have a typo, it's not going to work. Okay, so that should be fine. Um, now the other thing I can do is say, okay, for Roboto, we're going to do Roboto Condensed. Let's say that anytime it's regular, we're going to use the 300 that I got earlier. And now we're going to choose Roboto again. We'll do Roboto Condensed again. But remember how we had Italic as well? We had, I think it was regular Italic. So that was just Italic. So this time it's 400 and the font style is, um, I believe it, wait, let me have a look, let me have a look. We'll try, yeah, I'll just leave that as 400 because the 400 is, it. yeah, no, okay, I'll try italic and we'll see if that works too. Okay, big experiment. Okay, so once this is done, you don't have to click on the publish locally, you just click okay there. So let's see if this works. 
Okay, so that is working there. I don't actually have any italic there. Let me go in and I'll just grab another paragraph, chuck it underneath. And here I'm going to change it to where are we? Roboto. And let's change that to italic there. Now let's preview it again. Hard to test again because I've got it on my system. But yeah, that seems, yeah, actually that is working because you see how that is light and that is regular. So it has substituted my normal regular um, font with a light one and here it is substituted it with, so that's 300, that's 400 in weight. Now let's attack the Arial, which we don't want it to be Arial anymore. So why did I chuck Arial on here? So that if you cannot install the right fonts on your system for whatever reason, you can still see them on your final website. So all we need to do is go to publish, generate HTML files again, fonts, and we don't need to add these web fonts. We've already got them. So instead we'll go to font mappings. We're adding a mapping and that's gonna be Arial, our default. The headings are bold and we're going to map those to Roboto Slab. There we go. And Arial, where it is not bold, so we will just say regular. We are going to map to Roboto Condensed 300. And you can do the same for where it's italic, map it to this one here. I haven't got any on the, uh, the page, so I'm not going to do that. I'll just click done. And now if we preview it, ta-da, it is now Roboto. Even though if I shrink this a bit, Scoot it over here. It's Arial in your workspace. It's showing up as Roboto on your website, which is exactly what we want. Now, of course, optimally, you will also be working with Roboto because then you'll be able to see what it looks like in your design. But, you know, worst case scenario, we know that this is working now.